Hey Road Trippers, so today we are going to do something a little bit different. I've got a two-part video series and this is video number one. I went to Synergy RV Transport and basically I interviewed everybody to do a review on their driveway and their towaway division. And this video is going to be all about the driveway. Full disclosure on this, Synergy RV Transport paid me to make four videos. They wanted me to do two review videos and two promotional videos for them. Although they paid me to do the video, they do not pay me for my opinion. Nobody pays me for my opinion. What I'm about to tell you is exactly how I feel. They did not tell me to say good, bad, or ugly. They just paid me to make a video. Well, four videos. That being said, let's get into it. Synergy RV Transport is relatively new to the driveway. In fact, it's been around a little bit more than a year as of the time of this recording. However, they're not new to the RV industry. They have been around a little bit longer. I'm not going to give you the details because this sort of video is already going to be long enough. If you want to know more about the company, there is a link in the description below. They allow me to stay for the day and interview drivers and staff members. I ask the drivers a lot of questions. I talk to drivers from ranges of anywhere from a month of being in driveway and 15 years in driveway. Obviously that 15 years is not all within Synergy, but they had multiple companies. So they gave me a lot of great information. Each interview lasted about 15 to 20 minutes and I got a lot of great information and I feel I got a pretty good feel for how this company is. I went into this as a huge skeptic. To arrange this, I was talking to one of the recruiters, and if you've ever talked to recruiters in any industry, they tend to lie and tell you everything you want to hear just to get you in the door. My goal was to find any dirt I could. I was looking online and did some research, and I found a little bit of the little things here and there were pretty much like one-off issues, not like 15 people complaining about the same thing, but one person complaining about a little thing that wasn't a big deal. So I did try to find as much dirt as I could online before I got there so I could ask them any questions about any of this stuff. With all that being said, I went on site knowing that I wanted to find as much dirt as I could possibly find on this company. When I was talking to drivers, I went in there and I asked, you know, what do they like about Synergy? What do they think they could improve? How is the office staff? How do they handle breakdowns? Was it always professional? What's their general opinion of the office staff? How is the pay? Uh, how is the paperwork? And basically at the end of it, I would say, okay, now what, what haven't you told me about Synergy that I need to know? When I was talking to the staff, I asked questions like, have you ever been a driver? How long have you been in transportation? How long have you been at Synergy? What do you like about Synergy? Where can they improve? What makes Synergy a better company than everybody else? And then of course at the end I also asked them, what can you tell me that I don't, that I need to know? Even after all that, I got about five to ten minutes with the owners, Ben and Kyle. Sure, I could have asked even more questions, but I only had one day. They wanted me to stay a second day, but my time would not allow it. During this process, I also went outside to talk to drivers outside away from the office staff and see if I could dig up any more dirt. And these were just people that I randomly walked into and ran into. And I did the same with some of the staff members because not everybody wanted to be on camera. So I talked to them off camera and away from everybody else. And it was really nice because I had a spot where I could really get a feel for this company. And keep in mind, my whole goal was to find as much negative as I could find because I feel that that would make sure that I give you guys the best and most honest review possible. All of the drivers I talk to are there to make a living. They're serious about this. They're not a retired couple. This is their main income. Okay, let's talk about them now. All of the drivers I talked to felt that the pay was fair and competitive. They felt that the office staff always dealt with a breakdown in a good fashion, the paperwork was easy, and the pay was quick. They would turn in the paperwork electronically, and usually within an hour, they would get paid. And this was unanimous across the board with the drivers. The drivers also said that with the training, no matter what their experience level, from zero, never doing it before, to decade or more of experience, said that their training was really comprehensive and that even a brand new driver would feel 100% comfortable going out on the road on day one. They feel confident at day one of going out and making money. They feel confident with hooking up their tow cars because they have somebody there that helps them hook up their tow car, that shows them how to do it. They teach them how to do it, physically show them how to hook up their car to a unit. They have what they call a hookup shed. It's a big barn with two bays that allows you to go in in inclement weather or even in nice weather or at night that you can go in and hook up your tow car with. It is well lit and it even has an air compressor so you can put air in your tires if they're a little low. And because of all the light in there, you can actually do a really good inspection of the unit to see if there's any marks or scratches on it, even at night. I have not heard of any other company that has had a hookup shed. Have you? They also have a program where they will get you a frame rail hitch for your car so that you can hook your car up behind any 
for almost any vehicle. They will sell it to you at cost and you only have to pay 3% back at a time through your bond. That means you don't have to come up with an extra six or $700 the first day or the first time you have a vehicle that you need to tow your car behind that doesn't actually have a hitch. And of course, they do have some deals with like Avis and Budget for rental cars. Now other companies do have this also so that you get a discounted rate on one-way rentals. They encouraged drive-away drivers to work for two companies or at least one other company because they don't always have a good backhaul. They're working on getting their backhauls, but it's best if you have at least one other company so that you can truly make money on the road. The main goal of this company is to help the drivers be successful. They know that if they keep successful drivers, these drivers will stay with this company and they understand how to help drivers be successful. Not only does Synergy treat their drivers with respect, they treat them as equals. Breakdowns are dealt with in a quick and fair fashion. All of the drivers had zero complaints on how the office staff dealt with a breakdown. One thing I found very interesting is that I asked the drivers, would you feel comfortable with walking up to one of the owners and just saying hi? All of them said absolutely, and they have done it. And sometimes the owners will come out and just say hi and talk to them for five or ten minutes. Basically, the owners are very accessible, which is, again, very unheard of, even in a lot of companies. Synergy has hiring processes in place that focus on making sure that their employees are compassionate, hardworking, and honest. And I'm going to tell you something you probably won't believe. The recruiters will not lie to you. You can make them. I dare you to get them to lie to you because you're not. Because why? They will get fired. They want to treat drivers with respect. Honesty goes a long way. For example, someone has asked, can I have a trip to Florida every week? And you know, there's a lot of recruiters in other companies that will say, yep, you're not going to get that with them. They're going to tell you, look, that's not going to happen. And there, there are some companies that are also like that. But this one will not lie to you in any aspect. They're not going to say you can make $100,000 million. They're just not. They're going to tell you exactly how it is. From everything I saw, they had a wide variety of people in the office. They had people that had been in transportation and other companies for many years. They had people who had a background of customer service, and they had other people who just were really good and honest people. So they have a really good mix, but all of them are good customer service people. And some of them have some really good experience in the RV and transportation industry. And some have been drivers. So it's a mix of everything, and I think it's a good combination for an entire office staff. And not to mention, they all work so well together. They are always laughing. They're always joking. They're always having a good time, whether or not it's a good day or a bad day. When asked, what do you like about Synergy? No matter what, if it was office or drivers, they all said, The people. Family-like condition. Treat you like your family. The people. People. Intense team atmosphere here. When asked, what can they do to make Synergy better? This is what they said. More yard space. Not that I could think of off the top of my head, no. Wow. I have never run across a company that so many people want to work for and nobody wants to leave. But guess what? There is some things that they could do to make better, in my opinion. What I, th what I saw for the drivers, since they're so driver focused, I'm surprised at this. Number one, the driver facilities there they're not all that great. They have just basically a room with a couple vending machines. They don't really have any kind of shower facilities or anything. And I guess even the, the bathroom is a porta potty, which, okay, why is that? I mean, at least give them a bathroom, come on. Synergy is a relatively young and small company in the transportation industry, and they are growing quickly. My biggest fear, and I actually mention this to everybody, including drivers, owners, staff, and everybody, I said, look, don't lose this family atmosphere. No matter what you do, make sure you continue to focus on the drivers. Because as we know, a lot of companies that get really big, they lose that focus and they're all about the bottom line. And how do we make more money? Let's pay the drivers less. Let's treat the drivers worse. Don't do that. You want If you keep a company to be driver-centric, that company will continue and thrive in this industry. And I do feel that the owners know this and that they will keep this going in the right direction. I feel that they have good leadership and a good office staff, so I feel confident that that won't happen. You hear a lot of companies say we're driver-centric, okay? And I've dealt with them and I've and found out, you know, you get in and, and they're not. This company actually is driver-centric. The drivers feel that way. The office staff feel that way. Everybody feels it's driver-centric. So guess what? It's driver-centric. 
they focus on the drivers and they know that by treating the drivers well, the drivers will then want to do a good job for them. They will want to deliver these units and as they do that, the customers will come. I would easily work for them as a driveway company. I feel very comfortable knowing that they would have my back. If you're brand new and getting into the driveway industry, Synergy RV is a really good start for you. In fact, it's a perfect place for you to work and stay. If you've been in driveway for decades, Synergy RV Transport is a good company and you will probably feel very refreshed at the company atmosphere. Wow, this is a lot of information and I even have more that I could tell you, but I simply don't want to make a 30 minute video out of this. Thank you so much for watching this entire video. If you liked it or not, go ahead and click that like button. If you got something you want to say, go ahead and leave it in the comments below. If you like more videos on going on road trips and driveway and towway and all that stuff, go ahead and click that subscribe button. And until next time, safe travels.